Okay, as we do this problem, I want you to be thinking about eBay, for example, because this company sells used products from different suppliers, so they don't have any direct supplier. Additionally, a customer ordered a bicycle, doesn't matter what they ordered, for $70. So we need to have that piece of information. We also need to know the cost of this bicycle to the auction company is $40. Here's the biggie. The bicycle will be shipped to the customer by the original owner. Okay. Now we have two choices here. We can either recognize this as we're acting as a principal or we're acting as an agent. A principal actually takes ownership of the asset, bears the risk and responsibility for damage or loss, and if that were the case, if they take control of this bicycle, so they take control, so the seller sends the bike to Auction Co., and Auction Co. then sends it to the buyer, they would recognize $70 revenue and cost of goods sold for $41. Okay? Now, assume they never take control of this bicycle. So the bicycle never comes to them, so they never have the bike in their possession. They never run their risk of loss or damage. How much revenue should they recognize? Well, in this case, they're acting as an agent. Here, they're acting as a principal. In this case, they should recognize $29 worth of revenue. And based on what you know between the difference between a principal and an agent, what do you think is more appropriate for this company? I would say these guys are acting as an agent because they never bear any of the risk of loss or damage to the asset.